Hello everyone. Today I'm going to install AWX server, which is also called Ansible Tower, and which is a Red Hat authorized, uh, or we can say their own, um, and it's a software that they, they're proprietary actually. So what is AWX? So AWX is our project. It's a web-based console for Ansible. AWS is designed to make Ansible more usable for DevOps members of different technical proficiencies and skill sets. AWS is a hub of automation task. Ansible Tower is a commercial product supplied by Red Hat, but derived from AWX upstream project, which is open source. Um, so this makes a good alternative for Ansible Tower. So I'm going to use um this awx and uh, i'll build this uh, engine and i'm going to show how we can install it and you can use the portal and automate your ansible playbooks so for moving forward we need to install some prerequisite for ansible awx so i'm gonna use this command you can see on the screen sudo yum install git gcc gcc c++ as you can see this um, these packages has been installed so we can move for move, move forward and install docker cli there are three type of um, technologies that we can use to build awx server one is openshift second is kubernetes and third is docker compose so here I'm using Docker Compose to set up my AWX server. I'm gonna run run this config manager so that I can add this repo. Okay, so this repo has been saved. Now I'm gonna install Docker CE. Package Docker CE has been installed successfully. Now I'm going to enable the service docker. The service has been enabled. I'm going to start the server services. So I'm going to use docker uh, yum to install docker dash compose. Compose has been installed. Now we are going to install the AWX package. So we have a clone, a git clone. Uh, There's a git uh, repository which we're gonna clone to the server. So this is the repository awx.git. So I'm downloading the project from the AWX git website so i can see that the package is downloaded and i'm going to cd into this into this uh, so folder and i'm gonna see the package directory where ansible playbooks will gonna reside basically this playbook will run into our system and create a containers docker containers and we have two containers spin up when we run this playbook which is called awx task and awx web the playbooks which reside and which will be used in the war directory is actually a container so i'm going to use my host um, var folder to save all those playbooks so i'm gonna change the directory here see this comment I'm gonna remove this comment and change and and then I'm going to use this path which is going to be my host path not my docker container path so my playbooks will gonna reside here I'll show you in the future um, when we're gonna have a uh, AWS spin up okay so I'm gonna save this file and now I'm going to run Ansible playbook ok 
Okay, so it's run running now. To add the group Docker, and it's already exists. So I'm going to modify this user account and add this user into the Docker. Log out and log in again. As you can see, if I run ID, the group is added as a secondary group in Docker. Now I'm going to run this playbook again. Okay, let me just go to this directory and then run the playbook. I feel these errors are uh, really good to troubleshoot the installation part. So Docker is starting the container now. Mm. So the error it says there are some problem with the containers. AWS task. I can check if the containers are running. Yes, we can see that the containers are running right now, and it started and 40, 40 seconds ago. I also want to mention that we need to enable our IP forwarding um, it because when we install the server it will not it, it, the containers are actually behind this host which are running this AWX portal and what happen is when we when we when the systems get uh, on the um, when they get hibernate or it's not uh, getting used or get go into sleep mode the portal will going to stop and it's uh, i have found out that it's a very common issue when we install awx people do not enable their ip forwarding and when they when they have this kind of issue that the portal is going to turn off after every 15 minutes or five minutes they need to uh, reload the docker or restart the services docker services so what we're, what can, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this command says ctl and enable the IP forwarding. I'm gonna run it as a sudo. So this IP forwarding is enabled now. I'm gonna copy this IP and I'm going to open a new window. Paste this IP. Okay, so we have a AWX server up and running now. Okay. So the password for this um, username and password for the AWX server by default is admin is a username and password is a default password. Now we have a AWX server up and running. And you can see there are like these tabs which we can set, there are templates, Credentials. Credentials are used when we need to using SSH and running our playbook in the host machine. We can create our SSH or uh, username password credentials here. We can create projects here. So the projects like we have a playbook in our host or if we want to use our Git repositories to run the projects. We have inventories here. Inventories used to uh, uh define our host uh, what we, what are the hosts with, that we are wanted to run this playbook um, we can also use cloud uh, uh, cloud um, resources like for like azure vms google vms or like awx aws and uh, and our local uh, machines local servers and this is uh, this is uh, for host for the local machine that we have right now so um, we can schedule a job here and we can also make a workflow uh, using our templates here we can define our user rights as you can see there are three type of user types normal user system monitor and system administrator and then we can also define the teams for the access uh, or for this portal so yep uh, this is how we can install the awx server and uh, I'm going to show you 
uh, playbook uh, how do I run one playbook and I'm going to make make a demo here so I'm going to create a um, Ansible playbook uh, going to the projects add playbook name test organization is default and we are using manual and this is the project directory that which we have uh, uncomment when we were running this ansible playbook to install the awx so when i go to this directory in my host where we install the awx as you can see we have this project directory and i'm going to create a new directory called playbooks I'm gonna use sudo and we have this directory I'm going to switch to this directory there is no directory right uh, there is no uh, files right now so I'm going to copy my playbook so I'm going to create a playbook with the name uptime and I'm gonna copy paste again I'm gonna save it and now I'm going to show you in my portal as you can see now I'm going to use manual and here is my playbook so I'm gonna refresh this again and then it can see that test playbook name manual and you can see the directory is visible now I'm going to use this playbook and I'm going to save so my project has been saved with the name test now I'm going to create a credential so that uh, whatever machine you are going to uh, use in the host uh, which have my access so I'm going to use that access so I'm going to use the SSH access uh, yeah and then I'm going to use my default machine username and password so my username is H and I'm going to use the password which is save this I'm going to create a new template here it will going to be the name uptime because I'm using the uptime playbook I'm going to run it and there are like two types run and check run is actually uh, going to implement the changes and check will only give you the only run the playbook and then if you give you the result that what's going to be happen once you run this playbook so there so I'm going to uh, use the run type I'm going to select the inventory uh, we do not have inventory yet so I'm going to create inventory first add inventory going to name my inventory name as a host and save I'm going to into the host details and I'm going to add the host host name so here I am going to use my host name my machine name and save and then I'm going to back my, to the host I can see my machine is here I'm going back to my projects templates I'm going to add the template again I'm gonna use this as a uptime I'm gonna run it I have an inventory here now it's the name host which has my host name that I just added I'm going to use the project project is test that I made it before and I'm going to run this playbook so the directory here you can see if I can show you we have a uptime playbook I'm going to run that playbook now I'm going to use the uptime playbook we don't using the fork because we have only one server here there is no limit um, verbosity is normal um, and then I'm going to just save this and I can use the fact storage so that it can grab the facts for my host machine okay so this playbook has been saved I'm going to run this uh, playbook 
by launch okay so we got the error here the error here is because we are using the root so that's why it's going to give us this uh, error here let me uh, go, go back to my template you can see the credential has not been selected that's why it was running as a root so you need to select the credentials or if we share our root SSH keys to our host machines then we do not have to worry about the uh, SSH uh, or any password issues I'm gonna launch it again so now this time this will it will gonna use my credentials playbook has been run successfully and you can see there is a uptime you can see the days and user and all those details here so uh, this is how we can install the AWX and run our projects ask me any questions if you have any comments